Hey everybody, it's Pete from KnifeUp.com. Thanks for joining uh, me today just on this quick little video we're doing. Um, I had a really neat opportunity the last um, week or so. I headed down to a, a little tiny town in the middle of nowhere called Franklinville, uh, New York. And it happens to be the headquarters of one of the country's premier knife makers. I'm talking about the Ontario Knife Company. By the way, Ontario Knife Company, the name has nothing to do with the province up in Canada. Um, it's just a county. So, um, in case you were wondering, uh, I found some interesting things. When I was there, I, I kind of did a tour of the showroom and um, uh, I got a bit of a sales pitch on a bunch of stuff, but I, I kind of got down to some details about some, some unique things. Like, I was talking to a guy named Rick there and he, uh, he said that one of the things one of the questions or the issues that comes up all the time uh, with him is that there are uh, a lot of collectors out there um, who want to put a bayonet on their rifle. So we're talking about, uh, in this particular case, I think Rick's talking about an AR-15. And he says a lot of collectors want to put a bayonet on, on that. Now, I personally don't know that much about that. But I asked him what some of the issues were that people were dealing with that he and his company are trying to correct and this was one of them. How does the bayonet fit properly on the AR-15? By the way, Ontario Knife Company has been a uh, um, supplier to the US military uh, for like a century, I think. It's something crazy. Uh, and we'll talk more about the company itself in upcoming videos. Um, I was so impressed, I just bought a bunch of knives when I was there. So, uh, but anyway, regarding this issue of the bayonets, here's what Rick had to say. Talking about AR-15 rifles, and people want to buy bayonets for them. The thing that they don't understand is the distance from the NATO lug where the bayonet snaps in, okay, and the ring rest, this is an A2 flash suppressor, the ring rest on the flash suppressor where the bayonet is has to be within, within an eighth inch, either way, of five inches, okay? If it's not, there's a company called Triple R Products that actually makes a bayonet extender. In my experience, 90% of the time, it's off by an inch and a half. They actually make a bayonet extender, which has this piece from the back of the knife and actually has a NATO lug so that it will snap on and, and actually give you the right distance that you need. All right, excellent. Thank you, Rick. Um, now you know what to do. If you got an AR-15 and you want a bayonet, it doesn't fit. There are solutions. Uh, on our next video, guys, we're going to be talking about... Um, uh, actually, I'm not going to be doing as much talking as Matt, who's another, another one of the guys that works at the Ontario Knife Company, and he'll be giving us just a quick overview of just a few of the uh, folding knives that they've got, the tactical, survival, uh, a couple of the really cool utility knives that they have there. Um, I was really impressed with them. I bought three knives when I was standing right there in front of them just because I, I really like them that much and they will be a, one of them. I'll, I can't wait to talk to you about it. It's, it's one that I carry every day in my pocket and uh, we'll get into more detail about that later. Anyways guys, thanks so much for joining me uh, for this video and uh, hopefully you'll stop by, check us out anytime. Um, obviously our website knifeup.com has tons of information. We're working on content all the time and um, any suggestions you have, we are there with a listening ear. All right, thanks very much, guys, and uh, hope to see you soon. Take care.